Another day, Thank another you. record on Wall Street, but despite market highs, there are doubts among investors. Fund managers are holding 5.8% of their portfolios in cash. That is the highest level in nearly 15 years. This is according to Bank of America Merrill Lynch survey. Let's bring in today's panel, Jonathan Honig of Capitalist Pig Hedge Fund, Gary Kaltbaum of Capital, uh, Kaltbaum Capital Management, pardon me, both are Fox News contributors. Gary, let me start with you. I mean, the market's at records. 15-year high in cash, does that make Yay. sense? Well, look, here, here's the deal. You had a major breakout in the Dow and S&P after 18 months of sitting around. That's number one. Number two, add in central banks up in the ante. And number three, there is over 11% cash in mutual funds and pension funds. That is the ammo. And money managers, as, as the market breaks out and moves higher, they have people breathing down their necks saying you have too much cash. They have to deploy it. makes markets go higher and higher. Keep in mind, everybody's talking about earnings. Earnings are not very good at all. No. Companies have down sales and down earnings, and stocks are still going up. The reason why, lots of cash. Okay, we're going to pause for a second. Yeah. Intel is out with second quarter results. Ashley Webster has the numbers from the newsroom. Ashley, you we all set. What do you have dude. there? Dude. Melissa, we have on the uh, earnings per share coming in at 53, uh, 59 cents, that is. The estimate was 53 cents, so a nice beat on earnings. Revenue coming in where expected at uh, right around 13.53 billion, the estimate. 13.54. So you can call that pretty much uh, hitting the estimates, but uh, beating on earnings. This is a company in transition. Uh, Intel back in April announcing it was going to cut its workforce by some 11 percent, 12,000 people as it transitions from the declining PC market and the chips it provides to that into the cloud. We hear this from so many of the tech companies, and Intel says that uh, reorganization, that restructuring, if you like, they say is solidly on track. And they call it the Internet of Things. And uh, that's basically anything with an on and off switch that can be perhaps used as, uh, uh, in the tech world and connected to the Internet. That is where Intel's future is, whether it's a, a home thermostat that can be altered from uh, outside the home to jet engines to you name it, to cars. Intel sees its product, its chips being a part of that future and it's making that transition and they say they are on their way. But as I mentioned, part of that transition is they will be shedding jobs between now now in mid of next year, some 12,000 positions will be eliminated. They announced that last April, but they do say that effort is on track.